Hey everybody, I'm out here in my backyard today. I've got not a beehive out here that has overwintered well. It's nice and strong. We're gonna do a mite check on it today, see how many mites are in there. Now, first thing you'll notice is these hives are seeing kind of squished here between the or my shop and the fence. Mm -hmm. uh, they are facing west, they're not in the ideal position, mm -hmm. but they're in a position in the yard where they don't affect uh, the kids playing or any of us having gatherings mm -hmm. out here. They'll, they're all over me now because I've been working them a little bit today. Uh, but let's go ahead and do a mic check. So I'm going to do the powdered sugar shake today. What I'm going to do is grab a, grab a frame of brood. Make sure there's no queen on there because I don't want to get the queen in this test. I'm going to bring that frame of brood out. Covered in bees. I'm going to shake those bees off into this bin. Then we put a half cup of bees into this pint jar. I do have number eight mesh on the top so the bees can't fit through that. And get that open ready to go and then I'm going to put a teaspoon of powdered sugar on top of them and shake them around uh, let them sit for about 60 seconds with that powdered sugar on them now the reason I'm going to do that is that when they get coated in powdered sugar they get slippery and the mites can't grip a hold and so they'll fall off once they've sat in there for about 60 seconds moving around I'll shake them like a salt and pepper shaker over this bin to shake all the mites off and then we can count the mites and see how many mites are in that half cup of bees. So let's go get some bees. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna go through this hive. I'm going to find a nice frame of brood that's covered in bees. We always want to start on the outside frame. Remove that carefully and, and work our way until we get a nice frame of brood. So half of this frame is brood. This side over here is all honey. So I'm going to move on to the next one. brood that's got some brood and keep going fine with a few more bees on it all the bees on this hive are kind of running from me So this frame's got a good number of bees on it. I do not see a queen, so we'll use this one. Okay, so I've got my brood cluster right here in the middle. I've got pollen around it and honey on the outside there. So now, I'm gonna take these. There's several ways to get the bees off. You can brush them off. I find it's easier to just kind of give them a tap and they drop a bunch. They do fly around, you get more flying around you like this. So if I give it a tap, a little shake. Put these bees down the corner. Get a good half cup of bees. Doesn't have to be exact, but close. Throw a few more in there for good measure. All right. Now that they're on there, I'm going to open this up and put a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon of powdered sugar on top of them. It's probably better actually do that with the lid off, but we'll get that down in there. There we go. Okay. Now that we're kind of Spin that around and roll those bees a little bit. You'll notice very quickly those bees are extremely covered. I'm just going to leave that sitting here for a little bit while I go return this frame and these extra bees to the hive. By letting that jar sit with those bees mix in with the powdered sugar they're all squirming around 
and moving around getting extra coated in that powdered sugar which helps those mites drop off. Gotta put those frames back in the same way they were. We're gonna give these guys a little tap out. Put the lid back on so this hive can calm down a little bit. Okay. So now I have my empty bin. Got my bees, they're nice and coated. Been in there for almost a minute. Let's see if you guys can see that with them squirreling around. I'm not sure if you can get a good view of that or not. Okay, so now we're just gonna shake it like it's a salt and pepper shaker. Uh, we're gonna try to cover the whole bottom of this with that powdered sugar. Keep it down in there, get a good shake on it. Any mites that are in here should be falling out into the bottom of this basin. And you do want to shake this for about 60 seconds. And this is why we don't want the queen in here. We don't want to be shaking our queen like this. Okay, have most of the powdered sugar off of there. I'm gonna go put these ghost bees back in the hive. They'll get cleaned off pretty quick in there. Now bees all over my workstation. Set that jar off to the side. And now we look in this bin and see if we can see any mites, which I'm not seeing any. Oh, just kidding, there is one. It can be helpful to take a little bit of water and pour in here to help dilute or dissolve the powdered sugar. as well. Makes it a little bit easier to see any mites that fell out. Now that I've done that, I can look through here and I can see one mite that has fallen off of all those bees. Okay, so that's looking really well. Anything with four mites or more, we're gonna need to do a treatment. Now, there's a couple treatments we can do. Uh, we do have the Mite Away Quick Strips that we can put on. Uh, these, when you open this package up, has two packets inside here, okay? Uh, we see a tear or cut this off, this aluminum or metal mylar strip packaging, and take the entire sachet and put it on top of the bottom box in between your two brood chambers. Uh, there's two methods to do this. You can do this with one strip, or you can do it with two strips. Uh, if you put two strips on, it's on there for seven days and they come off. Uh, if you do a one strip, you put one strip on for seven days, and then you put the second strip on for seven days. Now, the thing to know about these Mite Away Quick Strips, there is a temperature restriction on these. You do not want to use this if the daytime temperature is going to be over 85 degrees. The other method is Apovar strips. Now, these strips are, this medication is a lot stronger than the Mite Away Quick Strips. Uh, you pull one strip for every five, five frames of bees you have. So, in this hive, I have 20 frames of bees. Uh, Excuse me, in there I have about 15 frames of bees. I have about 20 frames, but about 15 of those frames are covered in bees. 
So I would use three of these strips uh, with, in the top box I'll put two with two frames in between them. And then I'll put one in the middle of the bottom box. But I want these all to be hanging down in the middle of all the brood. Now these do have to stay in there for 42 days. So this is a longer treatment, uh, but it does a great job. It gives you great, great knockdown. Okay, the last item we have here is our beetle tray, beetle trap tray. Uh, we don't have a lot of issues with small high beetle here in Utah, but we do have issues with varroa mites as we've been discussing. This tray has a grid system on it. So before we use this, we're gonna spray it down with Pam, wipe some Crisco on it, do something on here to make that sticky. You'll notice the bottom of board of my beehive over here has a slot in the back. We're going to slide this in that slot and leave it for three days. That's going to allow the mites to drop off naturally off the bees and get stuck on this board. After three days, we'll take this out, count the number of mites that are on this board, and divide that by three to get our average daily drop. If that average daily drop is over four or five mites, we need to be treating. Depending on the weather, that will vary based on whether we use the Apivar or the Mitoway Quick Strips. But we do need to treat with something if our hives have an average daily drop of four, five, six mites in there or more. Now, if you have any other questions about this, feel free to watch this video again. Uh, if you want to come into IFA Country Stores, we'd love to have you come in, ask your local experts for advice, for tips on this. Uh, the other method of doing a mite test is to do an alcohol wash. It will be the same process as this using your jar except we'll use rubbing alcohol. Now that does euthanize the bees. With the powdered sugar shake, we can put those bees back in the hive. Uh, there really has statistically been no difference in the efficacy of the counts or how accurate they are. So I prefer to use the powdered sugar shake so I can dump those bees back in the hive. Uh, so that's it, we've talked today about how to install packages and nooks. We've talked about doing mite counts and mite treatments. I want to thank you guys for joining us for this class. If you do have any questions, again, come into your local IFA country store, talk to your local beekeeping experts there. Thanks for your time.